Well, it's day four, actually five. And now this is going to be a great comparison. So just to recap real quick, I did unbleached, unbromated bread flour. We made some rye starter and then I had to, this should have had bread flour in it, but I didn't have any. So I used King Arthur wheat flour in it. And then this is the Bob's wheat berry. Now you can see, I did save what I cut in half so that you could see what was going on. Um, this one actually sort of exploded. So did that one. And this one, I caught it before it exploded. But you can see the levels on it. I think the wheat berries are got, they've got a lot more activity going on in here. They have, it's a lot more, there's a lot more air bubbles and it just looks a lot more lively. This wheat doesn't look bad, the King Arthur wheat flour, but it doesn't look as lively as Bob's wheat berry that's fresh milled, just for a point of comparison. And then the third point of comparison doesn't look bad. This is the bread flour, white bread flour, and see how much more runny it is? Anyway, now what we're going to do for the fifth day. Okay, now let's back up a little bit. Yesterday, since I keep a really cool house, like 66 degrees, anyway, um, since I keep a really cool house, after 24 hours, it hadn't quite come up very far. I mean, it came up probably three quarters to where it was, but on that 24th hour, it really came up. However, I decided to let it go overnight because truth be known, this old gray mare was too tired to be working with it and make another video. So here we are another 24 hours later, and this would be day five, and it still looks great, and there's no problem whatsoever. Someone had messaged me, and they were trying to get it. They also have a cool house. They were trying to get it to come up a little bit more active in their oven. And whether it was on the proofing temperature or not, I'm not sure. But I'm not sure that that's a really good idea. I know I have a really good proof temperature in my oven. However, I did temp it and it's like 85 degrees. That's a little bit too hot for the starter. All right, so having said that, we're going to go with half of the bread dough. This is the King Arthur all-purpose. And then to that, I should be weighing it, but you know what? I'm just going to eyeball it. And then to that, I have to add wheat flour because I don't have any more white flour. So we're going to add the King Arthur whole wheat flour. And that is going to have to be what it is because that's just the way it is. We're going to put the wheat flour in. I already pre-measured this stuff and weighed it out. I like to go by weights. And then we're going to add our four ounces of water. And then we're going to stir away. And then this is going to go back to the container. And I think tomorrow we are off to making bread. So it doesn't take long to get this stirred in, but make sure that you're fully hydrating, or I should say fully stirring the flour in so that it has a chance to fully hydrate overnight. Alright, so this has a nice stir on it. Now, to the container again. We'll put that aside. Now we'll do the pre-ground whole wheat flour. 
and whoops, that's Bob's Wheatberry. This is the one I want. We're going to take half of this out. If you have a friend that likes to bake, what you can do <coughs> with these that you're dividing in half is give half to a friend, but make sure that you leave instructions on what they need to add and what they need to do. Like with this batch, they would only have to add another four ounces of water and four and a half ounces of whole wheat bread or the flour of their choice, but it really should be unbleached, unbromated. And then let it go for 24 hours, maybe a little longer. You got to take a look at it. Depends on your the temperature of your house. And then they're ready to use it for baking bread. So now that this is done, half, I'll put that aside. We're going to add the flour and I'm going to add water. We'll stir this up. Back to the container it goes. Next up is the Bob's wheat berry that I ground. So half in the bowl. Okay, then the ground flour and the water and we'll stir this together. This one by far, this fresh milled flour, really has the most life in it out of all three of them because you can tell by mixing it how it you know it just kind of moves around all on its own it's pretty easy to mix too this definitely has the most life out of all of them this goes to the container and then what we're going to do is cover these We don't really have to mark these now because they have, now that they've got a life of their own going on, I don't really have to mark these at all. However, there's all three of them and we'll see you back here tomorrow.